hi guys welcome back to my channel today I going to show you how I do my fo do photo mugs so this is one that I tried the last time I showed you how um, you could set up your convert a printer for sublimation and since then I have been really going at it I've been really trying so this is a mug that I made for my son his name is Gabriel and what I did was that I just used some pictures of him and I made this mug so if that is something you're interested in keep on watching okay so the materials you're gonna need you're going to need your your printer I'm using the Epson ET 8303 you're also gonna need your mug press this is the sublimation paper that I use, the A sub sublimation paper. I also use the, a, the Cricut mug. I got this from Michaels. Um, two came in this one, but you can totally get it from Amazon, which is much cheaper. I use this little tool that I use to weed vinyl. I use this mat. Um, you can you, these are optional you don't have to use them but you're also going to need so you're also going to need alcohol just this is just rubbing alcohol that I have in, in my house and you're going to need a lint roller so let's begin okay so we're in Cricut design space the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our projects tab and we are going to go to search and we're going to search for mug set up. This one, the one that says mug design setup, I'm going to click on it and then it's going to take me here. So if you're using, you're going to choose the type of mug that you're using. I'm using a small straight edge, which is a 12 ounce. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to press customize. Now you want to do this first because what I find is that whenever I go ahead and add my photos, the photos that I'm going to use first, and I go to get the template that I want, this the template, which is this mug template, what, if I, what I find is that it's, it kicks me out to start a new project. So what you need to do is to take this in Cricut Design Space first, and then you go ahead and you upload the pictures. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go here where it says upload. I'm gonna upload the pictures that I'm gonna use. So I'm making this mug for my second son, Gabriel. And these are the pictures that I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. Now these are the best pictures I could find. So he's always goofing around. <laughs> So these are the best ones that I could find. So I'm gonna see what I could do with these. Okay. So it's gonna take a little while to come in because some of these pictures are very large and whenever um, the pictures are too large, what you find is that it takes a while for Cricut Design Space to take them in. So here you see that the pictures are very large and over on the layers panel here, you'll see that it's giving you the this little exclamation, red exclamation. And it's just telling you that the pictures are too big. So let me take these down a little bit and then I'm gonna start to size them down. So it doesn't matter how much you size them because we're still going to size them a little bit more. So I'm gonna take it down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, some of, the, some of them are still telling me that it's too tall because it is below their space, okay? All right, so I, I wanted to do, um, see how many of these mugs we could put on this, how many of these um, pictures we could put on this with some 
writing on it. Um, so what you could do is, let me take this down a little smaller. I want this one to be in the middle. So what I can do, I could size it down first and see how it, it looks. Because I know that I want this one to be in the middle of the mug. Okay. Still a little bit big. I'm gonna size it down. No, it, I'm my my view is at 25%. So let me take it up a little bit more. Because I want to, you to see what I'm doing. Okay. I want this to be in the center of my mug. So that looks okay. Okay. If I need to, if I need to um, adjust it, I will. But I'm just going to do a rough sketch to see what I really, really want. So I know that I want this picture to be at the front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a square. Okay. And this square is going to come in two inches. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to put two pictures here and two pictures here. So I think 1.5 is going to be a good size for it. I'm going to, so now my square is 1.5 and then I'm going to duplicate this three more times. Two, three more times because I want to size it in such a way that I have two more pictures on this side. Okay. But the way I want to do this, I want to be able to add some text to this mug. So what I'm going to do, this can go up a little bit more. Let's see. This is our 2.9, 2.94, let's see what size. So this is 1.72, this is 1.8. So I'm gonna make this 1.72 also. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna make it 1.72. Okay. I think that is okay. Both of them is 1.72. So I'm going to use this 1.72 because what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put words in between these like columns right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start slicing out the pictures. So let me take this down. Um, so I'm gonna take this first one here. I'm gonna take it down a little bit more. I'm gonna take this one since it's 1.72 that I need. I'm going to send it to the back. Let me send it to the back. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to see how best I could get most of the picture. I think I could take it up a little bit more. Okay, I think that's okay. I'm gonna I like both of them, then I'm gonna press the slice feature. 
And here I have my first picture. Then I'm just going to use this same, this same rectangle. And I'm going to grab the other picture. This is a picture when we went to Jamaica and he's eating his paddy. He loves paddy. All right, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to slice it. Okay. Remember to send it to the back so that it doesn't move. Okay. Okay, that's okay. So now I'm gonna slice it. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. And then I'm going to take this one out. And I'm going to put this one there. Okay. Seems like I'm going to need to upload one more photo. Okay. So I'm going to take the other one. Which is this one. I'm going to first send it to the back. I'm going to resize it. Okay. And then I'm going to slice it all. This I don't need. All right, let me undo that and see if I could take it up a little bit more because his head is being cut off. All right, oops. So, I'm gonna take it down a little bit more so that his head is not being cut off. Think that's good. Slice. Okay. All right. So this, I'm gonna take it off. Let me take this up a little bit more so that you could see it. Okay. So this, I don't need. I could delete that. I'm gonna take this up and. I'm going to get another picture. Okay, so now that I have the picture that I want, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to add um, some text to this. So what I did was that I, the pictures were, were like this. So I just scoot them over a bit so that I could have this little column, so to speak, to work with because I'm going to put some text there. So I'm going to go over here to my text area. And I'm going to type my son's first name. Okay. His name is Gabriel. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the letters vertically. So I'm going to put the cursor between the G and the A. And I'm just going to do the same thing all the way down. Let me just take my view down. For you to see what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm going to change my spacing a little bit. Just to bring it closer to each other. Okay. Okay. That looks okay. Let me go down a little bit more. Okay, that looks okay. And I'm going to change this to a different font. I'm going to change it to a font that I have that's called Bebus. I think I got it on the font.com. 
Okay, so this looks okay. So I'm gonna bring the spacing a little bit more because I want it to be as close. So this is okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this. Now I'm at, um, the width is 0 0.469 and the height is 7.728. The height is too much, so I'm going to change it to a 3.5, okay? Let me take it up a little bit for you to see. 3.5 and I'm gonna take the width, so I'm gonna unlock my ratio and I'm gonna put the width to be one. Let's see how one looks like. One. And let me see if it can fit here. Okay. I'm going to put an offset on it. So I'm going to change the width to 0 0.75 instead. I think that looks a little bit better, but only that the Gabriel I want it to be over in this block. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an offset to this, but the offset that I'm going to add is going to be 0 0.05, okay? It's going to be a small offset, okay? Yes, this looks okay, okay? So it means then that I'm going to take my, so before I do anything, I'm going to group the offset and the name so that it doesn't move. So I'm going to go over here to my layers panel and I'm going to put, the Gabriel is already highlighted. I'm going to highlight the offset and I'm going to group it because I don't want it to move. And then I'm going to size it down a little bit more. So instead of making it, the height 3.6 because now it becomes 3.6. I'm gonna make it 3.25. Let's see. Um, let me make it 3.3 and see how that works. Okay, I think this is okay. Okay, I think this is a little bit okay. I made it 3.46. I think this is fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna write the last name and I'm gonna do it just the same as I did this one. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the name to white. I think it will look better that way. Yeah, I think that looks good. And here in this column, I'm gonna put his last name. So I'm gonna grab another text and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did E A Y L O R. Okay. Enter. 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 And I'm going to change the letter spacing. Okay, I think this is okay. I'm gonna change the color to white also, and I'm gonna change the size to, this one is what, 3.46. I'm gonna change it to 3.46. Okay, now I'm gonna add my offset. So it's going to eventually default to what you set it for before the 0 0.05 and I'm going to press apply. Then I'm going to go ahead and group it because I do not want it to shift. Then I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it here and you'll see that the tailor is quite skinnier. So I'm going to see, so this is at 0 0.82. I'm going to unlock my ratio and I'm going to put it to 0 0.8. 
to and see how it looks. I think that looks okay. Okay. I'm just going to scoot it over a little bit. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I... I am going to change it to 0 0.3.46. It's a bit, a bit taller than the other one. 0.46. Okay, that's fine. All right, that, that's it. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, he loves the color green. He loves green. So I'm going to change the mug wrap color. So I'm going to go over here where it says small mug wrap, you're gonna click on it, then you're gonna go to operations, then I'm gonna change it to green. I think the lighter green, I think that green is okay. It, it looks really good, really good so far. So the only thing I have left to do is that I'm going to take the first picture, right? and I'm going to take the press shift and click on the picture that is opposite that one, which is this one right here. And I'm going to go to align. And I think I want to align this at the, let's see, the bottom. Yes. Okay. So that's fine. And then I'm going to take this picture. Okay, and sh hold shift, hold that one, and I'm going to align those at the bottom also. Let's see how far it goes. Okay, so that's fine. So now they are all in the same, the same center. Okay, this looks okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off, I'm going to hide my template the small mug wrap this one right here i don't need that so i'm gonna hide it and then i'm gonna hide the guides then what i'm going to do okay is i think this one wants to i think this one wants to go over a little bit so what i'm gonna do I'm going to press that one and I'm going to press shift here and I'm going to align these um, to the right, right? So it's the same as this one. I'm going to do the same thing here. Take this one and this one and I'm going to align it to the right also. Okay. Now they are straight, now they're perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm gonna flatten it, okay? So now you see that this is just one being print then cut um, image that we have. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send it to my printer. I'm gonna hit make it, okay? Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mirror mine from here. If you're going to mirror it from your, using your system dialog, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to press continue. Then I'm going to say send to printer. It's going to find the printer that I, I'm going to use. I'm using an Epson ET83. 03 printer. I showed you how I converted it. You could check out that video. And I'm going to turn on my system dialog. I'm going to hit print. However, I'm not connected at this point, but I'm going to show you how you need to set up your print so that you get the best quality there is. So I turn my system dialog on. 
I leave my add bleed on. Okay, so when it goes here, you're going to press preferences. And I did a preset, but I'm going to walk you through it. So you want, you want to ensure that it is on letter size, portrait mode. Oh my God, portrait mode. <laughs> then for paper type, you're going to do premium present, presentation paper mat. Okay. Your quality should be high. Two-sided printing should be off doesn't make a difference anyway then you're going to go up to where it says more option okay now this is important when you go to more option because i turned my image already i flipped my image already i don't need to turn my mirror image on so i'm going to uncheck that these two also should be turned off and then i'm going to press okay and then i'm going to press print so I'm going to print this and then I'll show you how I wrap this around my mug and how I get it printed in my Cricut mug. Okay guys, so this is the, um, the image that we printed. Now what I'm going to do, you could do two things. You could use your Cricut to cut it out, but I'm just going to use my scissors. So cut around the edge it looks faded but trust me when it's heated it's gonna look so much vibrant the colors are gonna be so much vibrant okay this is the mug that i'm going to use you're going to take a piece of paper towel. You're going to clean your mug. You're going to clean the area that you're going to put the design on. Okay. So when it's dried, all you do, you take your lint roll and lint roll it. So you have to let it stay until it's dry. Okay, guys. Um, When your mug is dry you're going to lint roll it and then you're going to get some heat resistant tape all right so i'm using the cricut brand and what i like to do from this part from the gap there's gonna be a gap on the mug it's about um one and a half inches so it means from this part to this part, it's gonna be about 0 0.75 inches. So I like to just estimate, remember to turn it the correct way. If you don't turn it the correct way, you're gonna have a mug that's upside down. And you're going to turn it so that you'll get an estimation of the 0 0.5 inches. I kinda like to do it like this because I like the top to be, I, I, I prefer trim on, trimming off the bottom than the top, okay? You can just do it how you want. You notice this one is too far over, so I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit, maybe to here, okay? Uh, I still think one is further than the other. Let me do this again. I like turning it this way. You're going to do it so that it's sort of straight. Yeah. This looks okay. This one looks okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Like pulling it too close. And the next thing you want to do, you're going to pull this very tight. So I'm going to use a piece of my tape to tape it down first. Okay. 
Let me just tape it here just to tuck it down. All right, so I tuck that down. So what I'm gonna do, I like to lean it, lay it flat. And I like to hold it and pull it as tight as you can. All right, this is very, very important for you to do it this way. Or else you're going to get some ghosting and you do not want that on your mug. So you have to pull it as tightly as you can. Okay. I'm going to hold this. Pull it tight. Let me do that again. I like I like when it's flat at the top okay so this I'm gonna trim it off I prefer trimming off trim it off at the bottom some people like doing it at the top but I like doing it at the bottom okay and this is not near ready to because you want to do it so that it's very tight. Okay, see, I have some gap here. I'm gonna pull it off. And I'm gonna pull it again. There you go, okay? So there's no gaps here. I have a little gap here, so I'm gonna pull it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead first I'm gonna tape the sides. You're gonna tape it down very well. Very well. This is important now. All right guys, so I've taped all around my mug ensure that you do it very tight all right now the next thing you're gonna do you're gonna take a, a piece of butcher paper this is important because you don't want to mess up your your mug press so my my mug press is heating up so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a butcher piece of butcher paper and what i like to do is I like to draw it tight enough too so that it gives um, it holds down the paper that I have okay so I'm gonna put the butcher paper you don't have to tape it as much as you did the a sub paper okay. I just like to do it like this. All right, so when the mug press is ready, I'm going to put it in my mug. All right, so my mug press was ready, so I placed my mug inside. And if you notice, there are five lights, it's gonna when it's ready, it will tell you automatically when it's done, when those five lights um, are ended, it completes a cycle. So when that is done, uh, we're going to look at the results. Okay guys, so the mug is ready. You hear my beeping? It's very hot. It's very hot. You have to be very careful. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little while just to cool down. You see the steam? <laughs> it's very hot. The handle is not hot, 
but the mug itself you see it comes through the butcher paper okay I don't want I'm excited to see it <laughs> I'm excited to see it so <laughs> I'm gonna use my try to take it off I have heat resistant glove but Not sure if you're seeing this. It's very hot. You have to be careful. See? I don't want it to... This is nice. Wow, look at that. Most of the, the almost all the ink came off. Okay. Alright, guys. This is the result of the mug. I'm not even sure if you're seeing it. You're seeing what I'm seeing. I can't hold it. It's hot. It's hot. This is the result guys. I'm not sure if you can see. See there? Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. See there? This is beautiful. Alright, so I do hope you enjoy this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until we meet, I'll see you soon. Bye.